So about a month ago now, I did a video called Meet the Lolcow's Daniel Larson, and we looked into the, the fascinating world surrounding Daniel. And since then, a lot of people have asked me to look back into this guy. So today I thought, why not? Let's look back at the past week and see what Daniel's been up to. And well, to, to cut to the end right here at the beginning, he's missing. Like, no one knows where Daniel is right now, and they haven't for, like, the past five days. And these clips that we're about to watch today, there's only two of them. Man, man, are, are they interesting. In these videos, you get to see a day in the life of Daniel's homeless living around Las Vegas. Now, last time we looked at him, he was living homeless in Los Angeles. Now, I can only assume he's in Las Vegas because he's on his way back to Denver, which is something I heard about Daniel last time I looked into him, was that he was trying to find a way back to Denver from LA because he just, he, living homeless isn't for Daniel. This is, this is a new thing for him. He's been going from different home to home to home back in Denver, but here, when he's just living on these streets, it's obvious that he can't handle it. And these videos that I'm about to show you just show how Daniel can't handle it because it's him getting kicked out of a bathroom at a casino, him getting kicked out of a restaurant for sleeping, and man, just, this is a guy who should not just be walking around the streets all homeless. These videos show the perception he has of, like, the world and shit, how he thinks he can just basically do whatever he wants and fuck everybody else. So, with that being said, let's get into it, and we're gonna start on Valentine's Day, because on that day, Daniel was in a, in a bathroom in a casino, and the workers, they showed up full force. Now, I don't exactly know what Daniel was doing in here to get kicked out, but the workers, man, the workers were not having him being in there. Get the fuck up off the toilet! No, you Get fucking, fuck. no, you fucking won't, bitch! No, you fucking won't! You aren't gonna do shit! Now, I feel like people in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm obviously aware that Daniel's trespassing here. These people don't want him in their casino. They're going to get security to kick him out. But are they really in their rights to, like, do what they just did with putting their hand through the lock and opening it up while he's on the toilet? Seems like... Seems like there's a bit of a gray area there that may be, uh, it's a little fucky now. The reason I bring that up is because Daniel goes on to spout that now, that, oh my god, you sexually assaulted me. Thank god my pants weren't down or you would have sexually assaulted me. So I don't know. Like, obviously I'm not gonna listen to Daniel. Like, Daniel doesn't have the best, the best mind about him. He's always in the right in these situations. But honestly, yeah, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if they were allowed to do that, but correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I said don't yell at me. I said don't yell at me. I said don't yell at me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Don't grab me like that. Don't fucking grab me like that. Don't fucking grab me like that. I said don't. I said don't touch me like that. Don't fucking touch me right now! I didn't do anything! I didn't fucking do anything! I didn't fucking do anything! Don't fucking grab me like that, bitch! Don't fucking grab me! I have it all fucking camera, bitch! You don't fuck around here, okay? We come get you, right? I said walk. Don't, said, don't walk. fucking walk. touch me. Don't fucking walk. touch me. Walk. Don't walk. fucking touch me. Out the door. Don't fucking touch me. You said come out. You should have wrapped it up and got the fuck out. Don't fucking touch me. Come on, that shit. That's how you go in the handcuffs. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me, bitch. That's how you go in the mechanical restraints. You don't have on this property, sir. You better watch him out. Now, I'm starting to assume that Daniel was kind of just holding up in that bathroom stall, kind of hoping to just sleep there the whole night, and that's why he got kicked out. Because as you'll be up, you're about to see in the next video we show, that's what happened at the, the restaurant he was at and why he got kicked out. Now, you see Daniel in all these clips of his always claiming that he didn't do anything. Like, even after hitting his mentor, Bob, and then being in that one video where he's, like, gaslighting Bob after freaking out at him and not wanting to get out of the car, there's tons of instances of Daniel saying, I didn't do anything after he clearly did something. Now, am I, we didn't see it, so can you say that for a fact? No. No, you can't, but knowing how Daniel already had his phone out ready to record, he was probably, he was probably just chilling in there trying to get some sleep and someone reported it. Daniel got kicked out and this is how he reacts. He always finds himself in the right and all these places trying to ruin what he's trying to do all day, they're the ones in the wrong. <laughs> Next 
time you tried to hit me. I didn't do anything. You hit me. You hit me. Don't fucking, don't fucking walk over here. Don't fucking walk over here. Don't fucking walk over here. No. Because I can't do anything. Cross the street. I said walk, okay? I don't. Here you are. Do you want to go? You can walk while I take you across the street. How you want to go? Walk. I was just trying to. Walk. I was just trying to use a goddamn fucking password, bitch! Walk. Alright, good walk. I will myself! At the end there, I had to censor it out because I'm not sure how YouTube likes that particular phrase, but Daniel threatens to off himself. He does this a lot in these situations when he feels backed into a corner, threatens to harm himself, and even does harm himself most of the times. I'm pretty sure later in this video, I cut it out, but he starts like hitting himself again. He starts hitting a bunch of stuff on the way out, just starts to like, just, just, just shows violent tendencies in him. Now, obviously, you're watching this thinking Daniel's not all there, and clearly he's not. The guy needs some serious mental help because he's constantly on the internet, on his phone, all day long, kind of posting rampantly on his YouTube community, posts on and off, always saying some weird stuff. A lot of the times it involves kids on TikTok, because that's what Daniel... Daniel's kind of known for having a weird affinity for underage girls on TikTok. He's admitted it a few times, apologized for it a few times, and then done it again a few times. He's not necessarily the brightest guy in the bunch, and as you can see there from these videos, it's not... It's like, it's not that surprising here. When you put a guy like this out in the open, it, it, when he has no one there to support him, left to his own devices, this is how he reacts. He walks up into stores, walks up into places of business, does what he wants to do, and when he gets kicked out like this, this is his reaction. This is how he lashes out. He lashes out just like a child. And you're going to see in the next video we show, he goes into a restaurant, and according to them, fell asleep three different times there. Now... <laughs> His reaction to this is just like the same one here. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong, so basically I'm just, I'm going to keep sitting here. By the end, he learns his lesson, but once again, it shows the type of mindset that Daniel's in, that it's only about him and what he wants. And I also shouldn't have waited till seven minutes into the video to say this, but obviously this isn't like a really deep dive analytical look at Daniel. This is just me laughing about these funny Daniel Larson videos I found on YouTube. If you want a more in-depth look into Daniel, you gotta go to Perk 30's channel. It'll be linked in the description below, go check him out. And also, the Daniel Larson Curator, because that's how I found these videos. This guy's channel is lit with all these. There's so many good videos of Daniel freaking out. So, if you're trying to do a deep dive like I am right now, that's where I go to look. But now, let's look at Daniel get another trespassing notice from another establishment. You guys are not making sense because... Okay, I'm going to read this trespass to you, and if you do not leave, you will be arrested for trespassing. As a duly appointed representative of the owners of this property, I hereby warn you, you are trespassing upon this property as defined by Nevada Revised I'm Statute. not trespassing. 207.200. This is our property, and we say you're trespassed. 200. If you do not leave these premises immediately, you will be subject to the arrest for the misdemeanor. Your subsequent return to the premises after being duly warned will subject you to immediate arrest for trespassing. Now, are you going to leave or are you going to be arrested for trespassing? Like I said, I wasn't trespassing. You're making it harder. Just I just made it. I just trespassed you. We have the right to do that. You are trespassed. You can never come back here again. For literally just sitting here and watching the game. For sleeping three times, that's why. I wasn't sleeping, Are you going to leave? Though. I wasn't sleeping, Are you though. going to leave or are you going to be arrested? I'm not going to sit here and have lies, though. Well, are you going to leave or are you going to be arrested? Like I said, I'm... I, you were sleeping when I got here, you were sleeping when he got right, here, and put one your other phone away. said it. No. We're going to take you outside, or we can take you in back, and I don't want to take you I will. Back. I will leave you, but I want, I'm not going to sit here and be trespassed. So Daniel is claiming that he's just there to watch the game. However, they're pointing out that no, you were sleeping in here. And uh, Daniel, he just doesn't want to be trespassed. He's telling them he wants to lay down his law. Now, I ain't never one to defend Daniel, but when the dude was like, Sarah, you've been trespassed, 
you can never come back here. I just wanted Daniel to be like, fuck you. Like, this, I own this shit. Like, do you know who I am? I'm here watching the Lakers. I got a, I got a mean parlay on this. I, I need, I need to stay. But no, but for real, let's, let's, let's be honest. The guy, uh, the people can't have a guy there just sleeping. Uh, it's nothing against homeless people. It's just, dude, like, you can't roll up into someone's establishment and be like, cool, this is my bed for the night. Like, right here on this bar or right here at this table, I'm just gonna rest. I'm gonna get a water, I'm gonna get a thing of french fries, and I'm gonna tuck myself in, and that's that. Now, Daniel obviously has a different point of view on this than these people have. He says he wasn't sleeping, they say he did. Now, now, 99 times out of 100 in these situations, the people who are in the stores are the ones telling the truth while Daniel's trying to get himself out of it. And also, a lot of restaurants don't want him in there because he's a known dine and dasher. Like, obviously, he's homeless, he doesn't have a lot of money, he's roaming the streets of Vegas, uh, sometimes he gambles, that's, if you've ever seen those videos pop up in your recommended, it's pictures of him looking, like, bright-eyed at a slot machine, looks like he's never, looks like he's never seen happiness like that in his life. You are okay. trespassed. Okay, then just leave, dude, for the day. Leave. I will, but okay. I, I, I'm just trying to get my message across, I was not sleeping, you I was watching sleeping. the game. When I got here, you were sleeping. Just, be just because I closed my eyes for like a okay, second. Well, no more conversations. Walk out the door. That's it. That's all. That's it. You're done. There's no more. It's like the rest of your life. Go out those doors. Yes, and I said no, I would. No more talking. But I'm not. Talking's over. You're leaving the building. Yeah, but you guys want you guys want us to spread lies about me. No, we're not spreading anything. We're not going to even have a conversation anymore. All you got to do is leave the building. And I said I would. Then go ahead and leave. But you guys want to trespass me, which doesn't make sense. You're Just leave. Property. It's time yeah, to leave. More than three times to leave. You want to go on your own? You want to go back into the cup? You need to leave, man. Eh? I'm just trying to say that, like, I'm tired of, like... But you can't come in here and sleep. It doesn't matter if you're tired of... You I wasn't made this sleeping. Life decision. We're done having the conversation. You need to get up and go. Seven to control reading a trespass a now second time. Now you're going to get a second one, and then you're going to get a third one, and then you're going to get arrested. Uh, if so you, 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 you will leave. I'm going to As a duly appointed representative of the owner of this property, I hereby warn you you are trespassing upon this property as defined by Nevada Revised Statute 207.200. If you do not leave these premises immediately, you will be subject to the arrest for the misdemeanor of trespass. That's the second time. Third Let's time you're go. going to jail. Let's go. I, but, are you leaving? Yes, but go. like, why am I being trespassed? No, we already said it a million times. Let's go. I'm gonna... All right, then I'll leave. You guys are like lying about everything. I'm, like, you guys are liars. And so as you can see, Daniel doesn't like being kicked out of these places, as would nobody who's just trying to catch some Z's at a table at like this fucking Applebee's or wherever. But I thought this was a good example to show you just how Daniel acts when he's getting pressed, when people are trying to get him out of here. But actually, there's an even better video that sums it up. A video of Daniel in the bathroom at Planet Fitness, where he was sleeping at. Now... The only reason they knew he was sleeping here is because he accidentally leaked his location, the trolls found it out, they called up Planet Fitness, and they wanted Daniel out of there. And man, the, the fit that he put up to get out of this bathroom, it is it is something something I've never seen before. Like This man, you would think that his entire life was in this bathroom. He did not want to leave that shit. So we're going to look at that now. And yet again, another video from Daniel Larson Curator's channel link in the description you gotta go give the dude and sub these videos are amazing i said give me a second okay like literally and then you And you're threatening me, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave. You hold it back and forth. I okay, and I literally said, "Give me." I I said, "Give me a second.
since you guys want to argue, then I'm going to take longer because you guys want to argue and you guys are threatening me. They are not threatening Daniel. They're simply trying to ask him to leave the premises as they don't want some random dude sleeping in the bathroom. Uh, but, but Daniel can't understand that. He's going to look for any little thing to try to point the blame at them. He'll start to question, you know, why is a woman in the men's bathroom? Which, on any normal other occasion, that's a fair question, Daniel. But the problem is, this is like the only girl on duty, apparently. And she has to, she has to get this guy out of there somehow. So, I don't know. Watching Daniel in these situations, it's he always looks for something that can be that person's fault so it can get the blame off him, get the heat off him, but it never works out for the little guy, as you'll come to see. Like, first off, you guys are standing right outside the, the stall, and I said, give me a second, and you guys, now you're fucking spying on me? Like, really? This is fucking ridiculous. You're still sitting there on your phone. What? You're still sitting there on your phone. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not gonna sit here and have you guys. Don't fucking tell me to shut up. You're a fucking bitch. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch. He, he, he's very hostile as well. I think in his mind he sees it as, yeah, you're only doing your job, but me, I'm trying to live my life, so get out of my way. He, he just keeps calling these people bitches. He did it to security guards at the casino in the first part of the video, too. Don't fucking tell me to do that. Don't, don't fucking threaten me like that. Well, you, okay, you shouldn't have, it, you shouldn't have a fucking woman in the fucking rest, men's restroom, bitch. You shouldn't have somebody in here. Don't, don't fucking threaten me. Don't fucking threaten me, bitch. Don't fucking threaten me, bitch. Don't fucking threaten me, bitch. Don't fucking threaten me. All right, well, hurry up and get out and leave. I need you to leave right now. Not a second anymore. I need you to leave right now. Well, first off. No, no, first off, no, nothing. You, I will literally find your phone and cancel it out right now if you don't leave right now. Then leave the men's restroom. No, I'm an employee here. You need to leave right now. I'm not going to do that you until... You need to leave right now. The cops are really on the way already. If you want to you want this for you, be on your own free will. Then I said you guys need to leave the men's restroom first. The men's restroom, there's a member in the shower who's not going to leave. I work here. I don't have to leave. I need to make sure you get out right now. You don't get to the men's here. Then you're breaking the law. No, I'm not. This poor girl, man, She's just working the late night shift at this Planet Fitness, now having to deal with Daniel's bullshit, trying to pry this guy out of the men's bathroom. But it looks like she has some help. I, this whole time, I thought this was like another worker there who was like a guy, but it turns out it's not. It's just some dude who's like trying to get a shower and notices what's going on and comes over to help. Everyone wants Daniel out of this Planet Fitness. The only one who wants to stay here and to sleep comfortably is Daniel himself. And that's also illegal. Yes, it is. Come on, let's go. Come on, get up, please. 
You need to leave now. You Let's need go. to leave. You need to leave. I told you to leave the men's restroom. I literally have to kick you out. You have to go. You don't make the demands right now. Who are you? What are you doing? I was trying to change my fucking shot. You okay. missed you for more than a few But but then but then no, you no, 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 started spun. No, 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 no. I have not been yet to do And then you want you want to start cussing me out. Come on. You're recording it all like this shit, but that's cool. Come on. You hold the shit up. Come on, let's go. But I I'm I'm just saying I was doing nothing and then you started cussing the hell out of me. You're welcome to the men's restaurant. Come on, let's go. This Come on, let's go. I'm not. You're hot. Don't don't even don't even call me that. Come on. Don't even you said more than Don't even second. fucking call me that, bitch. Oh, okay, that's cool. I'm not easy to move my word. Okay? You called me a fucker? I said okay. Coward. You you called me a coward. I heard, but you don't Wait. Well, what is your name? I'll call it in. No, he doesn't need to give you his name. You need to go. Well, what's your name? You don't need to know my name. Let's go. Yes, because I'm gonna I'm gonna file reports well, for calling me like names and shit. I didn't call you a name at all. I said you need to get out. I have not called you a name. But no, please no. Like, dude. No, you're 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 reporting, but you're the one who's in the wrong. I, I'm no, not in. I'm I'm not in the wrong. How are you in like, the wrong? You have not left yet. You've been here for. You're literally just sitting here. You cannot just chill in here. And then he, this guy works here as well. He's just trying to help me out. He's not doing anything. And he, well, okay, you need to kick him out for calling me names. For calling me names, calling me coward and stuff. You're scared to walk past me, aren't you? Come on, let's go, please. The Irene Public Office, I don't want them to sort you out, please. Well, I'm not going to do that if somebody is going to be not kicked out for calling me names and shit. He's not doing anything wrong right now. You're literally in the wrong, I cannot kick him out. I'm He's also here making sure I'm okay because you're a guy. I'm a girl. You can attack me. I don't know what you can do. Well, you shouldn't even be in the men's restroom. I work here. I have to make sure everything's okay. Why? I have to make, I'm the only one here right now. Who do you think else is going to be stopping stuff? A ghost? Well, then that's an issue on the staff. Take it up with the manager. I don't know what you want. Come on, let's go. I really don't want the police to escort you. Would you rather have that or then kindly leave on yourself? I would kindly leave on myself, but not. Please go. You haven't left this whole but, time. But, you have not left this whole time. Please go. But I'm not gonna. Like I said, I'm not gonna leave if you people are threatening. You don't work here. You literally have to leave. I'm about to cancel your membership out. Let's go. Come on. But I just said, what? What? What did I just say? I'm not gonna leave. Since when did with you people you threatening me? Let's go. I need you to go, please. I really don't want the sheriff to take you out. That's the last thing I want. Trust me. I already called them. I don't want them to get take you out. That's embarrassing on you. Jesus Christ, he's insufferable, isn't he? Like, all this girl's trying to do is get him out of here, and he's thinking of a million different things to try to try to combat her. Like, this guy over here is calling me names. You have to kick him out, too, because he called me a coward. That dude, that whole time, in the beginning, he said, man, this dude's high as shit, and started cracking up about him. At one point, he even tried to go in there and just force Daniel out himself, but the worker got in the way. That dude was pretty goddamn funny. Uh, Daniel, at the end there, he's, like, talking about the staff and stuff just trying to change the conversation try to like calm them down to try to make it so he doesn't have to get kicked out of there and daniel makes it known shortly afterwards that this is not like a new thing obviously you see that because we have three kickout videos we looked at all from like the past week but how many planet fitnesses do you think daniel's been kicked out of i'll give you a few seconds just take a guess maybe drop it in the comments below how many planet fitnesses has daniel been kicked out of now Maybe like three, maybe four, maybe a crazy amount, like five or six. Well, let's let's hear it from Daniel's mouth himself. Right. Since I've now been kicked out of 35 different Planet Fitnesses, I am now declaring war. You'll be blown up soon. Can you really blame them, though? 
I mean, we see how he acts in these circumstances. I can't imagine they've been much differently at any other Planet Fitness he's been at. How they haven't canceled his membership already is gobsmacking, but that's, that's for another time. Daniel, though, you see how he reacts with people, you see how he interacts with people, and it's clear that just like most locales, he has no social interaction skills. He obviously doesn't know how to handle things like an adult when conflict arises. And we've already mentioned that he's not all there, so maybe you can't blame him for that. But the one thing you can blame him for is just the sheer way he treats these people and how horribly he does do it. Most times, Daniel leaves amicably from these situations because he doesn't want the cops called on him. And I think that shows enough of like a, a sense of his mind that, yeah, you know, I can't be doing this. That I am in the wrong here. But when he's trying to talk himself out of trouble and he's trying to try to convince them, you know, let me stay. I think that's at least what he's trying to do here when he just keeps going on about, well, then give me your names. I got to call the manager. I think he thinks that they're going to go, oh, please don't do that, dude. Just here, here, we'll give you a pillow to sleep tight. All right, we'll turn the light off and everything um and he's he's never gonna understand that he's like all other locales they never change daniel's a pretty young guy i think he's in his early 20s so daniel's still got a lot of time left in his life to try to learn his mistakes but with with what's wrong with him who knows if he ever will and uh if anything more funny happens with daniel we'll definitely look into him if daniel's found we'll look into him i believe the most recent thing i saw was that daniel put something on a private story of his saying that he was looking for someone to buy him a flight back to denver so you know we'll, we'll see we'll see that's definitely the goal though it's clear that the homeless life isn't for daniel and the only way he's going to get out of that is by going back home so when anything happens i'll let you all know and uh, as I already said, go check out Daniel Larson Curator's link is in the description below. I also mentioned Perk30, go check out his channel too. A lot of good Daniel Larson content out there, guys. Really, this stuff is uh this this is some this is some high P quality content, I'm not gonna lie. And uh yeah, with all that being said, I wanna give shouts out to Vanessa Scaly Schisms, Fieldin's Party Place, Churlish, Adrian Lara, Alright Stingy, Randy Leahy, Wade Pauls, Trademark, Commander Louie, Not So Crabby, Justin S, The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Vaga, Drugula, XK Rux, Bullet BP, Symphysist, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, Try Give Black Tiger, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Base Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Soda Joe, the United States Department of Homeland Security, Seal Currently, Eric Estrada, Everborn, Jurassic Clark, Akiba's Beat Fan, Cowboy Pete, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, Hurricane Salem, Danny the Foot, Prideful Jester, Cyanide Candy, Smokey's Dealer, Kiwi Bros, Griffin Shivo, Austin Vidal, Club Doom, Alex, Sarah's Van, Gryphon, J Avarice, Tilted J, Costai, Zangetsu Black, Chris Chance Fanta Bottle Collection, J Sorensen, GP Does, Gravy, Super Kame Jizzler, Greg the Rich, TJ, Trap Lordius, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius Bartleby Arlington, JK's Productions, Brazilian Dude, Snowshoes, Irma Grease, Spaghetti Jelly, Clowny, Black Meddler, Radon, Melissa Boomer, MXAX, Isaiah, Chef Meme Maker, Dalton, Sky Fitzpatrick, Mick Surly, Quantum Cat, Ronnie Willis, and Grizzly Bear. You guys are all goats, and all of you guys who made it to the end of this video, you're a goat as well. I hope you've been enjoying some of the Daniel Larson content. If you guys like it, uh, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. But I think we're definitely going to look more into this guy. Of course, you know on this channel, we got the Cyrax news on lock. If anything happens with Chris Chan, we got that on lock. We're going to be looking more into King Cobra after that video I did with Kiwi a few weeks back. Um, and yeah, there's so many more locales to look into. If you guys are new around here, I hope you stick around. It's uh, uh, it's always a pretty good time. And uh, I always try to give some good words of advice when I leave for the week. And my words this week would be just, you know, do something cool for your loved ones. 
Like, it don't matter what it is. Take him out to dinner, uh, buy him a gift. Just just go sit with him, talk with him. Just just be close with your uh, with the people you love, my friends. That's uh, that's the one thing in life that that's always it always brings people together. That's spending time with the people that mean most to you. Um, and it's just it's one of those things where I try I try to get you guys to remember that you know the world the world's a nice bright place. You got people that love you. The world's awesome for the people who are watching right now. Now, now, Daniel Larson, maybe the world's not like that for him, but I don't want you guys to watch a video and think the world's bleak, because it's not. You guys got people, you got people on your side, and that's all that is. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a great rest of your life. With all that being said, I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Oh, and also, we got our second channel linked in the description below. We're going to be posting a lot of old archived content, and maybe some even new content there. So if you guys want to, go subscribe to that. And yeah, for real this time, I'm out. Take care.